Hello, I will show you how to do exercise 2 called Hello of the correct C++ course. First we go to the exercise itself. There we can see that the goal of the exercise is to find out how the course works. And we have already created our correct C++ scoreboard. The goal of the exercise is to write any program that is correct. And here is an example of two lines of code that is the solution to do so. The first step is to log into GitHub. I've already done so. Like all the other steps, most of them were already done in the previous chapter, so I'm not going into detail about each of these. I'll just show how I do them. So step two will be to fork this repository. To fork our repository, we go up and we click fork. Now um, GitHub forks the repository from Richard Bilderbeek to my user called CorrectCPP. I can scroll down and I see what the next step will be. We have to activate Travis CI for this GitHub. Let's do so. If we go to Travis. We first have to synchronize our account. So you can click on accounts to, to get to this screen. And you see all your activated, uh, all your GitHubs that Travis is aware of. And if you click on sync account, then the Travis looks for all the GitHub, githubs you have. It doesn't always find it at the first go. So I press refresh here and we'll sync again. Ah, there it is. And I activate my hello GitHub. Going back to that GitHub, let's see what I have to do now. Step four, clone your fork. Well, let's do so. To do so, I like to pick up the URL of the course here, clone or download, you can just copy this thing here and we need to use it in our command line to clone this repository, to bring it to our local computer. So we start a terminal, we write git clone and then that thing what I just copied from github and we have cloned our repository. Let's see what ne what's next. We scroll down, we go now to number five. On your local code, do the exercise. Well, I'm not going to open a C++ editor. I'm just going to copy, put this code in the file main.cpp. So in the terminal, I'm going into the folder of the chapter, correct cpp hello. And I'm going to use mousepad or any editor you would like on the file called main.cpp, which is our C++ file. So this is not a complete nor a correct program. So I'll just paste the code here. So this is a correct program because A, it's documented. This three slashes mean uh, that it's a Doxygen um, documentation line. So Doxygen will pick this up and create a documentation from it. And in main, this is the this is the minimal C++ program. But as all code needs to be documented, this is uh, the full thing is the minimal correct program. I'm going to save it, and I've done the exercise. Well, of course, we have to push the code, so let's do so. So first, we're going to tell Git that I want to pay, take all my modified. Uh, files in my next commit. This commit shall be named done exercise. And I'm going to push it. What you also like to do, like now Travis already started working, I also like to modify the readme. So the readme, this is the, the web page. And when we take a look at the readme, we see that um, this top part shows you the Travis build status of your chapter. And it still points to the original um, the, 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 the original GitHub. So instead of using Richard Bilderbeek correct cpp hello, I'm going to replace Richard Bilderbeek slash correct 
cpp underscore by my current user correct cpp correct cpp and now i can also immediately see uh, my builds so i'm going to add this as well and just press up to repeat the command done exercise um, corrected linux and push that thing again you see i don't need to type in my username because i've set it to remember me now let's go back to the exercise push your code we did that now if we did everything correctly the build status of your fork will become let's take a look course first of the refresh there we go and you see that this is green for some reason but this is gray travis has not finished yet probably i'm going to take a look at travis and i'm going to click on the Travis and then we can see that Travis is working on checking my code so this is a bit dull to um, wait for and uh, so you actually don't need to read this I will zoom in a bit I will tell you a bit just to kill the time so you can see that I have now two githubs checked by Travis when it's yellow it means that it's working you see these dots rotating you can see the github commit if you click on here this is the octocat this, that which is github's logo uh, you go back to your github and uh, here it is you can also click there you see that the build status is still unknown uh, the first thing it's doing is setting up a, a, a virtual container uh, I'm not sure if it's Docker or whatever, but it, it, it's creating an, a new, fresh environment. Here it reads, and then it starts reading out my Travis script, which uh, does these things. It's installing things that you'll be needing. For example, here I see that it's installing CodeCov to measure code coverage. These warnings are just, uh, it, it, so when it's done, it closes it. The warnings are just noise, no student needs to read those. So, it's because in the end, the GitHub will just um, unfold like fold, fold this nonsense, and the students don't need to read this. What is interesting is what's at the bottom. In the bottom, we see that the command cpp check, no flaws, oclint, no flaws, check doc, so it checks if everything is documented, no flaws, code coverage, 100%. So well done, your exercise has been done correctly. If I now press on refresh, probably these are both green. Well done, you finished your exercise correctly.